how to integrate Shopify with Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can connect your Shopify store with uh, your website which is created by uh, or with a Squarespace.com. It is very simple and we have not an integration such as a Shopify to uh, Squarespace integration or connection or from the uh, Squarespace App Store also we don't have this uh, application to make everything work we are going to use an inter uh, a platform which is Zapier that will allow us to create a prompt or a uh, automation to collect the uh, data that you are going to or the actions or combine the two action uh, from Shopify and uh, Squarespace together all you have to do is to go ahead to and set up your Squarespace website and account and of, of course that you have to uh, set up your Shopify account right here I will go up to zapier.com then I will sign up with my Google account a little disclaimer guys everything created in this video such as email addresses phone numbers and addresses are created for the sake of the video they are not used for any personal uses so you have to be attentive uh, in this uh, tutorial what's your role right here I will go ahead and uh, put some random uh, questions or uh, random responses so I will go ahead to the dashboard which is uh, like this here the first thing that you have to do when you have uh, created the Zapier automation is to go to the app section this is the app section of Zapier we are going to search for Shopify then we are going to uh, connect the uh, Shopify store that we have let's see what it will be demanding right here I will go ahead and put my Shopify link let's see my Shopify store this is my Shopify store I will go ahead and put it right here and yes this is my Shopify store I will uh, enter your Shopify or use uh, let me see a second how to connect this correctly because I am not using uh, the Shopify domain anymore I have uh, purchased my own domain since I've got the domain purchased uh, this is my Shopify code uh, this is used to be uh, the link of for my Shopify store this is this code and that uh, my Shopify or Shopify store and dot com I will put right here this number or this code uh, so I think this is the right method I right, go and write it right here and then I click on yes to my Shopify I will see if it is and I am right here I have uh, made the uh, number and the code right here I will go ahead and install the Zapier integration to my Shopify store it will take few seconds to install it and connect my store here we have uh, connected to my Shopify store then I will go again to the app section and search for Squarespace Squarespace like this and we will connect our Squarespace account to Zapier it will take few moments here website API key here to get the API key I will go to my Squarespace uh, website I will go ahead to the settings section then I will go to the developer tools right here external API keys I will or the developer API keys I will go ahead and integrate this uh, and generate a key here I will go and give the permissions for example inventory orders transactions and profiles this is the uh, key that I am going to do key name for example test key this is the name of the key I will go ahead and put this key right away to the to Zapier integration right here and I will go to connect it right here and here we are like this going to integrate uh, or we have integrated the key here for this step you have to be careful I am going back to Zapier platform you have to uh, put uh, your ears and your eyes on the screen and focus 
this step all you have to do is to click on uh, this beta or this automation or this AI helper I will go ahead and make or write connect my Shopify store and my square space website website like this and we will see the suggestion of the AI right here it is uh, using the magic of AI to create my zap I will make some uh, some steps here is the zap synchronize Shopify orders with Squarespace from submission here you can get the new order from Shopify and the API request beta you can go ahead and change this or create uh, whatever you want here you can uh, synchronize the orders or the submission forms let's go ahead and for example connect my Shopify store orders uh, I will go ahead like this uh, and automate this let's go ahead and inverse the roles let's connect my Squarespace Squarespace website to my Shopify store and this is the correct form of the zap that I want to make here basically I'm going to uh, get the orders from the uh, or the submission for orders from uh, Squarespace and create a order for them on uh, Shopify this is it and uh, we will go and make this zap I will click on try it and we will uh, see the triggers and the automation or the prompt itself here the first one new form submission is Squarespace right here you can go ahead and change you can go uh, click on square squarespace your site title or you can create a new account this is the uh, my square uh, squarespace title here for the trigger you can choose an action here you can uh, go ahead and choose the newsletter form and the test you can go ahead and uh, test the trigger I will see if it is validated by, by the application continue with a selected record I will go ahead to create order in Shopify simply uh, a little uh, reminder or I want to uh, highlight some uh, point uh, this uh, connection or uh, this trigger will work on Shopify only on the premium version it will not work on the um, free version of Zapier here we have the create order the event is to create an order you can create an action or add a new action whatever you want the account is set up the action right here you have to put the email for example text or insert data and there are a lot of things that you have to put for example the shipping address this is uh, up to the uh, Squarespace connection with the Shopify account with the submission of the, um, the form right here then you will go to test this step and we will test it right here fail to create an order because we didn't uh, finish the, uh, the tags right here and the details on the uh, steps all you have to do is to go ahead uh, it must have at least one line line item here you have to put one line on the item line and you are good to go that was our for today's video that was very simple and self-explanatory you can go ahead and use whatever uh, triggers you want with the Squarespace and Shopify thank you guys for watching and hope to see you on the next one